Hi everyone, I'm Brichette Mendoza, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a public Google Calendar. This is a really great tool because of how easy it is to keep updated and how easy it is to share. So to start with, I'm here at the Google homepage, google.com, and what I want to do is go up to the calendar button. And then I want to create a calendar and I've created a, a fictitious account, especially for this uh, tutorial. So I go here, create new calendar, and I'm going to call this calendar 2013 calendar. And I can put in a description if I'd like, a location. I'm not going to change any of that, but I do want to make this calendar public. You'll see why in a sec. I'm going to create this calendar. Yes, I do want to make this public, I'm sure. And so from here, now I can create events. So I want to go up here. I can do quick add. And I'm going to add my first event of 2013. A community service day event. I'm going to click Add, and I want to make sure that I select the right day. So I'm going to go to January 21st, that's the um, MLK holiday. A lot of people do community service that day, so I'm going to select a time, let's say from 10 to uh, 3 p.m. on that day. And I want to make sure that the right calendar is selected, my 2013 calendar that I just created. And I can um, create these reminders. I'm going to take them out. And notice down here, it does mention that you can add attachments. This is if you have a Google Docs account, you can actually add attachments. But I haven't set that up yet. But I just wanted to give you a heads up on that. You can actually attach documents. So if you wanted to attach a flyer or something like that, you could do that um, if you had a Google account for Google Docs set up. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save this event. And you'll see that if I go to January, there it is. And, and notice also that I've subscribed to another calendar. This is the uh, holiday US holidays calendar. You can you can select other calendars right here. Um, you can go to browse interesting calendars and it has a list of calendars. So I had selected uh, US holidays already. So it's very useful. Okay. So here's the event that I just created. And I'm going to add another event. Um, let's say maybe a, a Valentine's Day event. Now this is just for an example, you know. So I wanted to go here and I want to make maybe a, a dinner. Valentine's Day a dinner that people may be able to attend. Maybe it's a fundraiser or something. So yeah, go here and maybe have it start at about 5 p.m. So again, make sure this calendar selected and say Valentine's Day. dinner, right? Uh, maybe make it, though I don't really know people who are interested in fundraising on Valentine's Day, but this is hypothetical. So once again, I'm going to save this event. And that's pretty much it. That's all that goes into creating events. And you can see that you can look at these calendars. If you're not familiar with it, you can change the view on the calendars. Okay, so that just gives you a general idea. And then from here, I want to think about um, how I want to share this calendar. So I'm going to go to my calendars and I'm going to go to the settings actually, calendar settings. And you'll see on this page that you have a few options you can um, embed your calendar, let's say into your web page by copying and pasting this code. And it gives you customization options as well. 
So if you want to turn off your calendar list, you can do that. So th this is what they're talking about right here. Um, you don't really need that, right? Um, and you can update the background color and all of that. So there's some things that you can play around with there. And um, you can also get the iCal code. It makes it um, a, a calendar link so that people can subscribe to the calendar. This is what's very, very useful because um, whether a person uses uh, iCal or Google Calendars or even Outlook, they can subscribe through their existing calendar application by simply copying this link and then pasting it where it says, let's say, add calendar or subscribe to calendar. That's all they would need to do. And then their calendar would have the updates that you provide in your calendar. So this is very useful.